Hey guys, uh, it's Adam from Offshore's Photo again. Just wanted to do a quick video today um, and share some of the images that I've taken recently with my current setup, which is the Sony A6500 with the Sigma 60mm 2.8 DN art lens. Um, so I've been using this setup in the salted line um, for the A6000 line of cameras um, in this water housing uh, with the trigger grip. Um, part of the reason why I thought I'd share these images now is I am going to be um, adding a new lens into my setup, um, which is the 85mm Sony, um, the f1.8 85mm portrait lens. Um, I've been very keen to try in-water photography with this lens for a while. Um, I didn't know for sure whether or not there was a compatible port that um, Sea Frogs did for the salted line water housing. So I got in touch with them. They identified a port that I could use. So I've ordered that port. I'm waiting for it to be delivered. And um, pretty soon I'm hoping to get in the water and try this combination of the A6500 with the 85mm out. Um, so I'm excited about that, but I thought before we move on um, to um, a video about the new setup that I'm gonna be using, um, I thought I'd show you what results I've been getting with my current system. So these photos, the photos that I'm gonna put in through this video are shot in the southwest of the UK, in Devon and Cornwall. I'm not gonna identify exactly where um, surfers generally don't like you to um, publicize um, local breaks. Um, it's just a tradition in surfing. Now, I'm not shooting at um, what they would call secret spots or unknown play, uh, surfing waves, but at the same time, I'm not gonna splash the name all over uh, images that I'm showing here today. Uh, I'll just try and respect that convention. Yeah, so we've actually had a pretty um, bad spell in terms of the quality of waves that have been coming through. Um, when I say bad, it's because a lot of the time over the last sort of six weeks to two months, it's been flat. Often what you find is that as the weather gets better, we encounter more flat spells. Um, I don't know fully, I don't fully understand meteorologically why that happens. I'm trying to, to get to grips with it, but um, at the moment I'm still not quite there. But um, this is one of the things, surfing is often, um, in term, the popular image of surfing is that it's a summer activity, you know, it's board shorts, sunshine, um, blue seas, golden sands, very much a summer activity, but actually all surfers know that the best waves um, are produced in the winter and, um, and autumn. Um, and spring um, and summer is actually one of the worst times for um, for waves so um, you know it's not been a great time I've not been in the water a huge amount but I thought I'd show some images today from sort of March April uh, May period um, give you a glimpse into into the results I've been able to get with this current setup um, so yeah, so uh, I think the first image I'm just going to show is uh, a shot actually of a friend of mine um, who I get in the water with quite a bit. Um, he's been happy for me to use him as a, uh, as a model, as a practice model for shooting in the water. It's, and it's great to get in the water with a friend. And um, so I was pretty happy with this image of him. Um, it was a small day, the waves weren't big, but um, and there were small lefts coming through, so waves that break to the left, and I was able to catch him on this one. Um, I was really quite happy with that shot. Um, now, moving on to some of the other shots, we've had these odd days where um, um, conditions have been good for short periods of time, so whether it's just a day or a day or two here or there, or even just for a, an afternoon or a morning. Um, with uh, surf photography, you do have to, um, you're always watching the surf forecasts, you're watching the weather, you're paying attention to the wind. Uh, wind is a crucial factor in terms of surfing conditions. And ideally what you're looking for is um, either offshore winds or very, or very much no wind. Um, 
so you you're looking for the smoothest possible conditions you can get although part of the experience of being in the UK and and looking for waves in the UK to shoot is that you you do have to just sort of grab what you can and um, and go out in all different kinds of conditions um, obviously bearing in mind your own limitations I'm still very much I, I'm very uh, uh, my first calculation when I'm thinking about going out is do I look does it look today like I can get in and out of the water on my own power safely um, that's the the most important thing um, before anything else um, on days where I feel like I can't I don't think that I can get in and out of the water safely here then I will shoot from the land um, there's a place that I, I want to go back to in France to do some photography um, this autumn and winter and I know already that I'm not going to be getting in the water at one of the breaks there because you know the chances are I would drown or I'd get hurt uh, I'm not fit enough I'm not experienced enough to get in the water and do surf photography there um, so you need to have a good level of self-awareness when you're thinking about doing in-water surf photography. Um, so some of the images um, that um, I'm showing actually are a bit relevant to that. There's a break locally where um, the waves can become quite powerful and I've sort of been slowly working on my comfort level in terms of doing photography at that surf break. Um, I've sort of, um, particularly with that break, if you go out at low tide, um, the waves can pitch up and can barrel at times and can be uh, quite powerful. Um, so I've been sort of slowly, gradually working up and going out on slightly bigger days. And um, some of the photos that I'm going to put up now are from a recent uh, shoot uh, that I did there. Um, and. I um I was pretty happy with some of the shots I got that day, but I did blow it on some great opportunities that day, and um, I missed focus on uh, what would have been some really terrific photos. Um, you know, a perfect wave came through. A surfer was in the spot. He was taking off. He, he surfed the wave beautifully, and I missed focus on him. Um, so some of that is was down to me still really being at the stage where I'm really getting to grips with how to set up um, the autofocus system on the Sony a6500. Um, the autofocus systems can be quite complex in the Sony's and it's a bit of a question of trial and error um, in terms of working out how does the camera respond on this setting? Does it acquire focus more quickly in this moment or is it, am I better with another setup? And I'm still doing a fair bit of trial and error and it cost me that day. I, um, unfortunately, I, I uh, missed out on some terrific shots. Um, but the other way I look at it is that I was in the water. I got to see that wave come through. I got to watch that ride up close. Um, and also, I think I also have to say that um, part of the reason why I missed that shot is because it was, uh, I was relatively unfamiliar with those types of conditions. Uh, it was low tide. Um, I was very much trying to um, keep myself safe. I was trying to avoid the surfers, trying to avoid getting picked up and launched around by the waves. Um, you know, I had one wave kind of break directly on me that day and hold me down for a little period of time. Not for, it wasn't a long hold down, but it was long enough to know, you know, I'd like to come to the surface now and it didn't let me up right away. So I, I, um, you know, there's no doubt that part of my preoccupation that day was, uh, I was focused very much on keeping myself safe. Um, and you have to, you know, a photograph isn't worth getting hurt for. I know some really desperately passionate photographers might argue with me on that, but to my mind, I've got to be uh, responsible. I've got to look after myself in the water and make sure I don't create problems for other people in the water as well. So, you know, um, 
it's been uh, a tough spell for everyone recently, hasn't it, with the, um, with the lockdown. It's nice that we're now finally emerging out of this lockdown period and I'm hoping to get abroad again, maybe in the late summer. Um, I want to get back to some locations that have really big dramatic waves and do some video and photography there. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check in with everyone and share some of the um, images that I've um, taken recently and, you know, and point out again really that this salted line housing ha has been a great um, entry a great piece of equipment for someone who's looking to get into inward photography but doesn't want to spend two thousand pounds on uh, water housing you know so i hope everyone's well hope the video's been interesting and i hope to see you again soon